Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. I can't remember what we did last time, but it was probably cool. Welcome to Holland Operation Day 1. We are here in Holland, and we're going to do some pretty important stuff. Ooh, I can't remember which one's the one that I want to do. Let's go frame Team Belgium. I think we just did the introduction to this area last time, um, but we need to... We're participating in some kind of aerial, fighty duel kind of thing. And we need to frame the other teams so that the other teams will kill each other in mid-flight, and so we'll actually have a chance. Silver pocket watch, nice. I have a silver pocket watch. I don't think it's made out of silver, though, because I got it for only $15. But it looks like it's made out of silver, and that's what counts. Maybe. <laughs> See that armored supply truck? It's en route to drop off Team Iceland's lucky ice sculpture for the semi-finals tomorrow. I've given the drivers some bad directions, so they should be going around in circles for hours. We need you to get inside that truck, steal the sculpture, and plant some evidence implicating Team Belgium. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. Well, that's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. This mission is quite fun, I just have to say. Um, it wasn't the one that I thought it was, but this one is very good. No pressure, but you've got to find a Team Belgium pilot and get him laughing so hard that Bentley can make the pull. This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. If they notice being robbed, we'll be kicked out of the Aces competition. Well, there he is. Let's see. Well, we're not going to rob him, so let's Hello, be nice. Hello, Belgium Flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? I need to get this sourpuss laughing. I should try historical humor, an impression, political humor. Oh, this is hard. I'm gonna try to get as many results as I can. Let's go with Why political. Why did the chicken cross the road to France? Because it wasn't turkey! And you see, the chicken's not a turkey, or a Turk! It's a chicken! A French hen! Okay, so that's didn't work. I should try... Intellectual... I intellectual get humor. I of this coin! <laughs> get it? It's totally funny because, like, when you flip a coin, it comes out either heads or tails. Come on, that's comic gold! Wow, this episode's just going to be filled with bad jokes. <laughs> this is great. Um, let's go with the historical what humor. What was Genghis Khan's favorite meal? The brains of his enemy! Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I... I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty weird. <laughs> that one's good. I really like that one. That, uh, that one might be my favorite so far. Now it's time for an impression. That Baron, he's always, I love flying. Don't go outside. Listen to me. I'm so smart. I'm the boss. My mustache is so macho. <laughs> That's pretty lame, huh? This guy hasn't said a single word to us. Now, let's take into consideration we're speaking English to someone who's Belgian. Do, don't you think that they might... They, I'm, I don't know if he knows English or not. He might just only speak his foreign language. So we could just be saying a bunch of words to him. He might not even know what we're saying. Murray really is not being considerate here. Um... Yeah, that could that could be a severe issue when it comes to communication. You need to know other languages. Let's go with physical humor. Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? 
Tonga! Hey, fish! Duck! I need help! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bentley, it's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. Wow. I mean, okay. He, he, some of those jokes were really good, and okay, physical humor is kind of funny. I can agree. It's it's pretty good. I'd laugh too. I know I would. Murray's hilarious. Okay, so, but let's let's get let's rob this Belgian. No one else in the hotel seems to notice, though. You got the Belgian hanky! Nice work. Meet me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. I hope Murray can get his fist out of his throat. He's kind of, uh, looks like he's kind of stuck there. Bentley's en route to me with the monogrammed handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. Okay. Um, this is the part of the mission that I'm particularly bad at. Like, I, I really enjoy the joke part. That one's fun. But, uh, and it's hilarious. I think Murray should be a stand-up comedian because he's quite funny. But now we need to find a guard and smash his head into that door. And I'm quite, I'm not the best at this. The first few hits are pretty easy, but it gets it gets more difficult later. And oh gosh, I'm I have wrenches, and that's dangerous. I like that I can just turn into a pile of apples, though. That's kind of funny. Okay, so don't kill your dude. Get on him. I, oh shoot! Oh shoot! Turn into a pile of apples. Oh, or a flower pot. That works too. You just walk on away. There we go. Let's try that again. We're gonna head this way, because I'm fairly certain that we can't really catch up with it if we go the other way. Or we probably could, we might be able to. Just, I'd like to try this way. We're gonna have to circle around in the yard here for a bit. I don't know, not the yard. Oh shoot, get on his head! Oh, just forget him. I don't need him anymore. We'll go somewhere else. And, but first, I think I will turn into this wheel of cheese. There we go. Now let's find someone. See, I told you I'm not very good at this mission. I just need to find a guard. There are hardly any guards anywhere. Okay, I wonder if I could like hop on flashlight guards. Or I don't even know if they pop up in this uh in on this mission. As the guru. I don't even know if like the guru ever encounters flashlight guards. I think he has before. Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember, but I think we did in Australia. I don't know. That's kind of dangerous looking. There are planes crashed everywhere. It looks like uh, this this whole competition has taken a couple of lives. Oh, jeez. Okay, you can get it. We're right there on the back. There it is. Smash into door. There we go. Good start, but the truck just powered up its automated defenses. You'll have to pay attention on your next approach. Could get sticky. Okay, so it's laying out bear traps. I want to know where it keeps the bear traps. Uh, well, it may, be in, it may be in a compartment, but it will keep spitting out these bear traps until, well, forever practically. So I want to know how many bear, like, where does it get its infinite supply of bear traps? This thing's carrying an ice sculpture. I don't think it would be filled with bear traps, but apparently it is. Maybe they're like foldable or compact or the kind of... Maybe they're like bear traps that expand with water. I don't know, that's a, that's a weird idea, but like, you know how you get the little sponge animals and when you put water on them, they expand? Maybe it's like those. I wouldn't think them that dangerous though, because they'd be made of sponge, but yeah, you never, you never can know. You never know. Oh, poop. Oh, jeez, it's getting, it's getting rough. Are you kidding me? Oh, I, I made it, okay, awesome. I thought I didn't make it. Let's just get some more help from the local guards. 
These rapids scare me, actually, because they always look angry. Well, they have, like, angry expressions to me. I feel like they're just, like, the angriest, angriest bunny rabbits in town. Okay, so we need one more guard. It looks like it's spitting out, like, these these traps way faster than it was before. That might just be me, but I, I think it is. Is this guy, like, jump... Is, is this guy's jump smaller than the other guy's? I don't even know. Oh, poop. Hide. Yeah, walk away. I'm just a pile of apples. Get out of here. Okay. Now, where'd he go? I think he went back here. Or the truck might be heading straight forward. No, he's going a completely different direction. He wasn't going this way before. Okay, so we'll explore over here. Hopefully we don't run into the giant wolf. Oh, yeah. Don't we... I think I think we ran into the wolf last episode. I hope I didn't spoil anything. No, we, defi we definitely ran into the wolf last episode. I'm almost certain. Um, and that thing's quite terrifying. We'll have to deal with that eventually, I think. It could probably become a big problem when it comes to the heist. Which I don't know, I don't really know what the heist is gonna be yet. Dang it, you stupid truck. Ah. But uh I don't know what the heist is going to be yet. I can't even rem well, I kind of remember it, but not all the way. But I don't really I don't it could probably hinder our uh our heist. We it might it might not allow it to work out as well. Okay, Piggy, get out of here. I need to hop on your back. No, keep walking. You st the truck's right there. Thank you. Stupid pig. Oh, you stupid pig. Get on the Get on the pig, you idiot. There we go. Okay. You're not an idiot, guru. I'm just flustered easily. I can't see. Okay, jeez, camera. Thanks. That was real nice of you. Now we just need to catch up with this thing. Hopefully we can. It seems to be making a lot of uh, a lot of distance. We only, we just need to crash into it one more time. We can do this. It's not that hard. Well, actually, it is pretty. It, it's a little difficult with the uh, the con with like controlling the the bad dudes. Shoot, are you kidding me? This truck needs to die. Ooh, dang it! You flipping truck! Oh, what the truck? This is annoying. <laughs> oh, you know what? Screw it. I don't even know what to do. Where's the? I need another guard. <laughs> what time is it? Twelve minutes. Man, how am I going to be able to finish this in the episode? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's just a truck. With super automated defense systems. Who puts that much defense system on a truck? Well, I guess it's carrying important stuff, so it's got a reason to be defended well. I won't argue that. Hey there, buddy rabbit. Oh, you ki did you kill me? I better not have to restart this mission. Okay, thank you. Thank you, I was gonna rage there. I was gonna rage there, but... Whew, thank goodness. Now, where's a freaking guard? There are no guards. Where... Ah, where are they all? There's one. There's a farmer. Come on, Mr. Farmer. I'm just gonna jump on your back. And, okay. That pig was not there before. Okay, I beg to differ. I don't know. Okay running on hay bales. Let's hopefully get him this time. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure I could have plowed that guy down. That's aggravating. Okay, I'm getting up to it this time. We're gonna do it, hopefully. There we go, finally! The back doors are still holding tight, but the top of the vehicle's been blown wide open. Okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. Okay, so let's try and jump into the roof. Oh, geez, I'm already caught by a pig. And there's a fl I, I think I just saw a flashlight gu guard. Apparently there were no flashlight guards uh, as the guru on this mission. Hmm, I wonder if there's a reason why. Maybe the flashlight guards would just plow down everything in their path. They are rather huge. And oh poop, I can't jump on the top. I can't jump on the top. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get ran over by a van. No. Oh, uh, vans come back to attack. You just plowed that guy over. Is there even a driver? It doesn't look like there's enough space for a driver. It just looks like a storage compartment. Oh, yes there is. Never mind, there's that little red thing. Never mind. 
And oh jeez, I'm getting shot at. Let's hopefully get after this guy. Um, can I jump in? Get me in there. Okay. No pressure, but I think the driver has figured out where to go. You don't have much time. I don't think it matters or not, but don't quote me on that. Um, he may eventually make it to the destination, but it's not that hard. Great work. Team Iceland is sure to blame the Belgians. They'll be all over each other in tomorrow's dogfight. Awesome. Okay, so that was quite difficult. <laughs> it was way more difficult than I thought it had to be. Or than I thought it was going to be. I kind of expected that I would do bad on it, but uh... Well, I didn't necessarily do bad, I just didn't do the best. That's kerosene. Oops. Okay, so that wasn't smart. Let's get back to the safe house and turn into Murray. Ow! Okay. Maybe that'll just bring us to the safe house. How handy. Um, can I buy anything? No, Bentley, get back in the building. It's not safe yet. Actually, you don't have any missions yet. So, uh, let's buy something. Hopefully. Do we have enough cash for anything? Anything at all? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff I have to buy. Okay. Well, anyway, I think the next episode of Let's Play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves thieves, we will go and frame Team Iceland. So, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.